Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we will be going over how to buy workshops in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Let's get started. First thing you'll need to do, uh, I guess the first thing you'll need to do is make some money. Find one of them big cities with the walls and the castle and the keep inside. Then hold alt and you can see that there's a smithy, there's a wood workshop, there's probably something else like silk or olive or something like that. Point is, you need to go up to one of the workers of those places. Either the wood shop, smithy, silversmith, um, tanner, wool maker, any workshop. I generally go with the smithy because that gives me the most, like, because I normally change them to smithy to begin with, so I might as well just have that anyways. Anyways, talk to the worker, tell them that you want to buy it, 15k. If you think that's expensive, that's about what they run, so that's what you're looking to buy them. I think my first one cost 12. After you do buy it, if you don't want it to be a smithy, you can change it into anything you want. I've had the most luck with smithies though, just so we're clear. I've tried the winery, didn't go so well. Try the olive maker, oil maker, didn't work so well. The wool maker, didn't work so well. Uh, the woodworker, carpenter, that one worked fine. In fact, actually I bought one that was a smithy, left it as a smithy and it made me zero and I changed it for 2000 to a woodworker, and now it makes me money. That's the thing, you gotta watch these things, and you can find them in the clan menu, oh, in the other section. It tells you how much they make. See, my Ironmonger is a smithy, um, and Carpenter is woodworker. So if you look at this every few days and you're not making any profit, click on it and change the production down there in the bottom right. If it's not making profit on anything, get rid of it. You can make most of your money back and just go buy something else. The thing is, when your army gets as bigger, 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 mine cost me uh, about $600 a day, 600 gold a day. So you need these to kind of counteract that and make additional money. So definitely go buy one if you can afford it. I know it's a heavy investment at first, but if it's one of these, the smithy here makes a thousand, the woodworker makes 500, you pay it off pretty quickly. So, I mean, the one right there, Epic, Epic Rotia or whatever it is, 921, hey, if you can buy that one, give it a shot. Why not? You'll be making a little bit of extra money. It is up nearby the snow, but hey, it's worth the trek. Anyways, that will do it for me. That's how you buy a workshop. Um, if you liked what you saw, got what you needed. Uh, I think you can only buy three at the first level, by the way. So you can only own three until you get a kingdom. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.